valency. In an atom, the electrons and nucleus are present in it. You know that those electrons revolve around the nucleus in definite path. For example, in carbon atom, it has six electrons which revolve around the nucleus in definite path. Another atom, such as oxygen atom, which contains eight electrons and revolves around the nucleus in a definite path. So, we can see that the electrons in an atom are arranged in different shells or bits. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are known as the valence electrons. For example, in a lithium atom, it has three electrons in which two electrons out of three are firstly filled in K shell and last one electron which is filled in L shell and this last electron is known as valence electron. Similarly, in sodium atom, it has 11 electrons in which two out of 11 electrons are filled in K shell, 8 out of 9 rest electrons are filled in K shell, whereas the last one electron which is filled in M shell and this last electron is known as valence electron. According to bohr berry scheme, He said that the outermost shell of an atom can accommodate a maximum of 8 electrons. It was observed that the atoms of elements having a completely filled outermost shell show little chemical activity. In other words, their combining capacity or valency is zero because its octet is complete. For example, the helium atom has two electrons in its outermost shell and all other elements have atoms with 8 electrons in the outermost shell. So, anybody knows how can we find valency of a given atom? No. An atom of each element which has a definite combining capacity called its valency. We can find valency through formula. Valency is equal to 8 minus number of electrons in the outermost shell. For example, the fluorine atom has 7 electrons in the outermost shell and its valency could be 7. But, it is easier for fluorine to gain 1 electron instead of losing 7 electrons. Hence, its valency is determined by subtracting 7 electrons from 8 and this gives you a valency of 1 for fluorine. Valency can be calculated in a similar manner for oxygen. What is the valency of oxygen that you get from this calculation? The oxygen atom has 6 electrons in the outermost shell and its valency could be 6. But it is easier for oxygen to gain 2 electrons instead of losing 6 electrons. Hence, its valency is determined by subtracting 6 electrons from 8 and this gives you a valency of 2 for oxygen.